As we move further north, we come to New York City and to Long Island, which should be feeling the full impact of Irene by Sunday afternoon. Jeff Glor is on the shore out there in Islip, Long Island, with more on the preparations in the areas around New York City. Jeff, good morning. Hey, Erica, good morning to you. The, uh, the water right now couldn't be much more serene behind us, but as we know, uh, that's going to change very soon. A lot of people here in the Northeast might remember Hurricane Bob uh, 20 years ago back in 1991, but it's actually another hurricane just a few years before that that may bore, bear a little more resemblance to Irene. We've been preparing for this since Monday. Uh, the latest tracking um, tells us that this is going to become uh, more serious than less. The Emergency Operations Center has been activated. On We're Thursday afternoon, Governor said, Chris Christie of New Jersey and Mayor Michael Bloomberg of New York protection. warned everyone about the looming like the danger that is Irene. And while the storm's exact path may be impossible to predict, preparing is not. First, find out if you live in a hurricane evacuation zone. Secondly, New Yorkers can prepare themselves by stocking up on some basic supplies and making what we call a go bag. I got the sunbags ready and I got, you know, the extra food. Hurricanes Floyd in 1999 and Bertha in 1996 brought heavy rain and flooding in the New York area. But it's Gloria in 1985 that holds the record for the strongest hurricane to strike the East Coast this far north. It made landfall on Long Island with wind gusts reaching up to 115 miles an hour and left nearly 700,000 people without power, some for up to 11 days. The total price tag for Gloria, an estimated $900 million. If you go back to Gloria, I mean, that was a huge storm that came through the area with almost the exact same track. So we know from history what a storm like this is capable of. I think this is probably, probably going to be a little bit less of a storm than Gloria, but very close. And with that in mind, many of the tens of millions in this area who could be affected are preparing for the worst. I think it's going to be a pretty bad one. New York officials have ordered the evacuation of nursing homes and senior centers in low-lying areas as early as this morning. They're also trying to clear as many catch basins as possible to prevent flooding. Uh, just two of the many preparations underway this morning. Erica? Yes, yeah, still a lot of work to do. Jeff Glor on Long Island this morning. Jeff, thanks.